Four wives and 18 children? A catfishing scandal? A favorite wife? These are just some of the aspects of Sister Wives star Cody Brown's transformation over the years. Keep watching to find out more. If you've ever tuned into Sister Wives and wondered how Cody got into a plural marriage in the first place, you're probably not alone. Back in 1969, when Cody was born in Wyoming, Cody's father was a Mormon polygamist who had ten children and three wives, including Cody's mother. While he did reportedly struggle with his religion, Cody's father maintained his plural marriage and raised multiple families on his ranch, according to Screen Rant. Considering Cody is known for having four wives and a whole herd of children, that early polygamist household clearly guided Cody's own life path. I'm a polygamist. But we're not the polygamists you think you know. Way before the world was introduced to Cody through TLC, he began his journey into the polygamist lifestyle. He married his first wife, Mary Brown, in 1990, and the two seemed absolutely smitten with one another. Back then, the two young adults dreamed of living their lives together. According to Us Weekly, Cody truly believed that Mary was his soulmate. They tied the knot just half a year after Cody popped the question, and in his 2012 memoir, Becoming Sister Wives, the story of an unconventional marriage, Cody further opened up about his early experience with Mary, writing, "...Mary was so cute and sweet when I met her that I had a hard time suppressing my hopelessly romantic nature." One thing led to another, and I got her a ring. Those early days were certainly marked with enthusiasm and simplicity. Cody met his second romantic connection, Janelle Brown, in an unusual way. According to Entertainment Tonight, Janelle was married to Mary's brother, but it didn't last. Cody and Janelle entered into a spiritual marriage by January 1993. And there's more. Cody and Janelle actually share a mother. According to In Touch Weekly, Janelle introduced her mom to Cody's father, so even though Cody and Janelle don't share parents genetically, they're linked as both siblings and partners. During an episode of Sister Wives, Janelle opened up about the dynamic, explaining, "...before Cody and I were really courting, I was actually friends with his family. My mom was worried I was getting sucked into some polygamous cult. But she ended up meeting Cody's dad, and they ended up falling in love and getting married before Cody and I started courting." A year later, Cody married his third wife, Christine Brown. Cody and Christine reportedly first crossed paths in 1990, when they met while chaperoning a youth wilderness hike, according to ABC News. Christine took the time to get to know both Cody and Mary, and by 1994, she and Cody were an item. Fast forward to Valentine's Day, and the Brown patriarch popped the question, three wives in four years. The family continued to grow as the children started coming. Cody now has a whole litter of kids from his wives. Eighteen children at the time of this video. When Cody and his three wives made it onto television for the first time, the topic of polygamy a decade ago was even more taboo than it is now. It was only through programs like this that the average person really knew about the unique marital environment in the modern world. To say that Cody, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown changed the game is an understatement. And TLC clearly knew what they were doing when they decided to air the new show. I like marriage. Uh... And I'm a repeat offender, so… Sister Wives dropped on the channel in September 2010, and Cody, his wives, and their children made their way into people's homes. Speaking about his marriages in the very first episode, Cody said, "...I have adopted a faith that embraces that lifestyle. In fact, it recommends it and likes to reward good behavior. So if you're good with one marriage, they figure you'll be good with two." I hope they think I'll be good with four. Fans of the polygamist reality show were treated with a plural marriage in real time when Cody married again in 2010. According to The Sun, Cody initially crossed paths with his fourth wife, Robin, at a friend's house and quickly entered a courtship. Just four months later, the two solidified their romantic relationship, and Cody introduced her to the other sister wives. I spent the first three months of our courtship telling Robin how much I loved Mary, Janelle, and Christine. 
That same year, Robin became a spiritual wife to Cody, and his fourth union alongside Mary, Janelle, and Christine. The following year, Robin and Cody announced that they were having their first child together. As of 2022, Cody and Robin are still going strong, with an inside source allegedly telling Us Weekly in January that they're closer than ever. The source shared, She has him wrapped around her finger. They act like they're still newlyweds. They're still very much in love. As for Robin's relationship with the other wives, well, that's a bit more complicated. With the outlet noting Robin's hesitation and guilt as things have apparently been strained at times. Those, those jealousies are there with every one of them. Here's where things start to get a little rocky. Cody was only legally married to Mary. The rest of his unions were considered spiritual marriages. The couples were not technically husband and wife in the eyes of the law. However, Mary's status as Cody's legal spouse changed in 2014 when they got divorced. But it's not what you may think. Mary simply made the call to divorce due to a difficult circumstance Robin was forced into. According to Hollywood Life, Robin had three children from a previous marriage. Their biological father was reportedly absent from their lives and didn't financially support them in any way. Cody, for his part, asserted that he was their father, and Mary took action from there. She paid an under-the-radar visit to an attorney, who told her that if she divorced Cody and he subsequently married Robin legally, he could adopt her three children. So that's just what happened. Mary claimed, If anything happened to Robin, we'd have no legal claim on Robin's kids. They're part of our family. The divorce is final. It's final? It's done. That sucker's done, huh? Yeah. While Mary's move in 2014 signaled a sweet and understanding nature between the Brown family and wives, 2015 changed that. According to People magazine, Cody's first wife started online dating, met a man on a dating site, and began a virtual relationship. As it turns out, though, the man in question lied and was actually a female fan of the show. The online relationship became an incredibly toxic and destructive force in Mary and Cody's relationship. Speaking about the bond between Mary and the online figure, Cody said, It turned out to be extremely exploitative and abusive. And from that experience, Mary and I sort of saw our marriage just dissolve. Mary shared that she and the person she met online became friends and shared a sense of humor. Alluding to the genuine nature of the virtual connection, Mary said in a Sister Wives episode, He was saying all the right things to make me trust him and make me think that he was this real person that really cared. Being very kind and very compassionate and understanding and I trusted him. Utah is very well known for its large Mormon community, and so it made a lot of sense that the Brown family called the state home. However, in 2018, Cody, his wives, and kids all moved to Arizona, a move that came as a big surprise to Sister Wives viewers. So what prompted such a stark relocation? Some fans seem to think it all had to do with Robin Brown and her status as the favorite wife. According to The Sun, Robin's son reportedly obtained a scholarship to an Arizona-located university, and after that admission, the whole family moved from their home in Utah. When The List sat down with Cody for an exclusive interview back in April 2021, he revealed what life was like during the pandemic. He explained, We've got four homes, four mothers who basically, because they're running their household, are kind of in charge of their household. Big struggle for me, whether that's from bad leadership or whether that's bad choices or I don't even know what. But it's been a struggle for us to get on the same page on how we behave regarding COVID-19. The Brown family patriarch went on to tell us that he was trying to stop COVID-19 from, in his words, just tearing like a wildfire through his family, but each house wasn't following the same COVID protocols. He went on to say, Different mothers have a different opinion about how to behave about it. Some days we get it all dialed in and we're a united team, and other days we don't. I want, I want, I want all the thoughts to be held for just a second, okay? Well, some things are too good to be true. In 2021, Cody and Christine Brown called it quits. As noted by People Mag, the parents of six kids, then ranging in ages from 11 to 26, announced their separation on social media, sharing with fans that after almost three decades together, they were going their separate ways. Christine revealed in the Instagram post, 
After more than 25 years together, Cody and I have grown apart, and I have made the difficult decision to leave. We will continue to be a strong presence in each other's lives as we parent our beautiful children and support our wonderful family. At this time, we ask for your grace and kindness as we navigate through this stage within our family. For his part, Cody said he was saddened by Christine's decision, but expressed his respect and admiration for his ex. He went on to say, Although we are moving forward on different paths, we will always remain committed parents. Ever since Mary Brown's catfishing scandal, her relationship with Cody wasn't nearly what it used to be. My relationship with Mary is at best just distant and amicable. In the years that have followed, the bond between the once legally married pair has pretty much dissolved. And in the Sister Wives season 16 reunion episode, the duo cleared up any confusion regarding the status of their relationship. According to Us Weekly, Cody said, I'm not ever going to be in a conjugal relationship with Mary because I'm not going to go through that emotional torture ever again. I'm not trying to make Mary sound bad, it's just a bad match. Cody went on to say that there was just too much damage between him and Mary, and that there was, quote, no real safety between them. He even went as far as to say that he simply wouldn't go there when asked about details, clearly indicating that there was some deep-seated pain. As for his other wives' reactions to the dynamic between Mary and Cody, Christine shared during the reunion episode that their struggles are heartbreaking, saying, I don't want to be in a loveless marriage. I don't know how she does it. I guess she's more fine with it than I am. If you're keeping score, two out of Cody's four marriages are more or less defunct. So it raised the question, where do things stand with his wives Janelle and Robin Brown? Let's start with Janelle. According to People Magazine in February 2022, Cody shared that he and Janelle are, quote, not in sync, and that their relationship is certainly at arm's length. He said of his wife, We actually just are able to have a marriage that's, if you will, lower in attachment. I don't even know. We're good friends. We get along well. It's more of a, like, just a committed relationship. Cody wouldn't elaborate on whether or not he was in love with his wife. Regarding Robin, well, she's rumored to be his favorite wife, and the two are still going strong. In 2016, they welcomed their second child together, Cody's 18th child. An insider reportedly told Us Weekly in January 2022, Cody has been spending all his time with Robin and they are in their own world, living their own lives. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.